Hello everyone. If you ever wanted to make a mouse jiggler to keep your computer from going to sleep, or any USB HID project for that matter, you would be wondering what are the best microcontrollers out there. I'm here today to give you the top three options. Let's get started. Number three, the Arduino Pro Micro or a Leonardo. These boards have the AT Mega 32 U4 chip. So any board with this chip will do. The good thing about this board is that it can be programmed using the Arduino ID, which has gained immense popularity and thus great community support. It is cheap and easily available. This board can be programmed to act like any USB HID device, a mouse, a keyboard, or even a joystick. And the coding part is relatively simple and straightforward. The problem arises when you want to hide the device from your computer, such as an office laptop. It will show up as a COM port when plugged in. There are multiple workarounds to solve this issue, but none of them are simple. They require things like compiling and flashing a custom bootloader. If you are a beginner, this might be daunting. But if it is not an issue, this might be the best option. Number 2. The Raspberry Pi Pico This microcontroller offers more flexibility and power, making it a popular choice for advanced users. So, this is a bit more advanced than coding the Arduino. This board runs the RP2040 dual-core ARM Cortex processor. This board is usually programmed with MicroPython and Thonny, but it can also be programmed with the Arduino IDE with little effort. The Pico also has a great community and support. It is cheap and readily available. This board can be programmed to act like any USB HID device, a mouse, keyboard, joystick. Again, the problem arises when you want to hide the device from your computer, it will show up as a COM port and a storage device when plugged in. This can be worked around and more complex USB capabilities can be added with libraries such as TinyUSB, but it is very complicated for beginners. Gnome 3, an STM32 board. Here, I have picked the STM32 F103 C8T6, or simply called, the Blue Pill. This microcontroller is for the true tech enthusiasts who want to push the boundaries. Fair warning though, setting up the STM32 is no walk in the park. This board is very cheap. It is usually programmed with C language. It can emulate any type of USB devices, including storage devices. You can change the device descriptions and vendor IDs easily. Once configured as a USB device, it will not show up as a COM port device or anything else. Essentially, becoming undetectable in a computer that does not allow USB devices. Now, the cons. The online community is still growing and help might not be readily available online. Setting up the environment can need some getting used to. You cannot program this board directly using USB, so requiring a programmer or a USB to serial device. Although there are some custom firmware that can be used to enable this, again, not beginner-friendly workarounds. So, even considering all the learning it takes, I still consider the Blue Pill as the best board for this purpose, as it gives the user ultimate control over the entire project. Let me know in the comments if you have made USB projects with other boards. Also, if you need a detailed tutorial on programming any of these boards to be a mouse jiggler, let me know. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this.